Hey guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. I have been tagged yet again by Pals Lives Life. Today we are doing the five minute makeup challenge. Now she said that I did not have to do five items and do the five dollar limit. I'm sorry you all the noise you're hearing is my tablet. I just turned it on so that I could turn on my timer. Um, but when she did this video and I will link her video at the end of this video and also in the description down below but when she did this video she did um five minutes five products five dollars so all of the products were five dollars or under i guess um <laughs> i don't know if they were under i i can't remember um but anyway she tagged me and she said we did not have to do five products and they did not have to be in the five dollar range but I think I accidentally did that anyway um so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna turn on the timer I'm gonna do the makeup and see if I can get it done in five minutes and at the end of it I will tell you all the products that I used so let's go ahead and jump into this five five minute five minute makeup I can't believe I just did that I am so embarrassed but it's going on the YouTube anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. I was so nervous. Okay. I've never done like a timed challenge before. So we're going to hit the start button. Did it, did it push it? Did it push it? Start. Ah, there it goes. Okay. Oh. Now the thing here is that I am so scared I'm not going to blend anything in because I'm brushing. I've actually wanted to do this challenge for so long, but actually I can't remember if I ever did it. I don't think I did. I wanted to, but I don't think I ever actually did it. Next will be the three minute makeup challenge. We'll see if we can do that one. <laughs> I think that would consist of like powder foundation, blush, and mascara. Because <laughs> who can do their makeup in three minutes? I've watched a bunch of people do that challenge and um, it is quite difficult. Okay, no concealer. I've got a couple of other videos to film today. And they're actually mom videos, so I'm okay with my makeup not being, like, totally perfect. Um, kind of feeling the mom vibe today, you know? I almost sat down and did this, um, challenge while I had muffins in the oven because I thought, you know, that would just add a little bit more to what I'm doing here, you know? Would add another, a little bit more sense of urgency to the whole deal. I hate when I do that. I look in the camera and use the camera, the monitor on the camera as my mirror. And I'm sure you guys like totally dig that, right? I need a serious deep clean on my face also. I mean, this is probably TMI, but I've been noticing that my face can take like, oh no, I've only got two minutes left. My face can take about um, one or two applications of makeup before my pores are just like, uh, screw you, hippie. <laughs> so I need a really good deep clean. I went to Walmart yesterday and I almost, they had that rack that is um, face masks that are two for $5. And I almost picked some of those up, but all they had left was sheet masks. And I really feel like I need a peel-off mask right about now. So, that didn't happen. I really want to try the black mask. 
but I also know that um, I've watched way too many people be really stupid <laughs> um, doing those and putting the videos on YouTube. So, okay, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. I got one minute left. Ah! I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I promise you I can do it. Incidentally, I think this is also how I did my makeup in high school. No, I did not do my eyebrows when I was in high school and it used to drive my mom up the wall. I also didn't wear lipstick. So yeah, this is pretty much how I did my makeup in high school as well. Hey, it's a twofer, you guys. A twofer. Oh gosh, 20 seconds. I think I got it. Oh no! I've got a clump on my mascara wand. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> I guess I kind of sort of did it. So let's go over, um, I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah, actually, this is this is probably exactly the way that I did my makeup in high school. And I'm thinking probably will be the way that I do my makeup most days, like for everyday wear. Because um, I do try to, you know, do my hair, like actually put on clothes, not stay in my pajamas all day. Because you guys know I'm a stay-at-home mom. If, in case you don't know, in case you haven't been here before, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I have been a stay-at-home mom for about a year. Um, I've worked my entire life, so this was like a complete 180 for me, and I kind of fought it pretty hard, um, <laughs> but I tried to make myself get up every day and actually put on actual clothes and do my hair and put some makeup on. Now, it doesn't always work. Some days, it's just throw on a t-shirt and some yoga pants and throw your hair up in a sassy bun and not give a crap, but... Most days I try to do something, and I think this for every day, just like a really quick throw some color on your face and make yourself look human, I think it's okay. Now, the one thing I do want to do, though, that I didn't get to do is comb through my brows. Um, I have recently re-trimmed my eyebrows and done a really good trim on them, so <laughs> they're actually a little bit thin right now. Also, I feel like they might even be a little bit short, but I'm not, I'm not too bothered by it. Okay. So what products did I use for this five minute makeup? So of course, I mean, blending sponge is crucial for me. I, personally, I have never found, excuse me, <coughs> every video got a cough. <coughs> I am sorry, excuse me. But every video you guys I get, my throat gets dried out and I have to cough. Anyway, um, yeah, I personally have never found a foundation brush that has worked for me. I do want to get um, some knockoff Artiste brushes. I've got, <coughs> excuse me, two different sets, <coughs> excuse me again, two different sets of brushes in my Amazon cart right now, not even in my cart, like I put them, I put stuff in my cart and then I save them for later. Put that tab to there over there in the corner. Um, I've got like, I might even have three sets of brushes. I know I have two sets of brushes, one of which is a uh, Artiste knockoff oval brush set. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again, I haven't cleared it. Um, the other set is a unicorn brush with like, um, unicorn brush set with like the unicorn horn handle and the multicolored, um, 
bristles on it. That one I want just because it's cute. Um, they're probably not going to actually be good brushes. But I do want to get a set of like the oval brushes and see how those work because typically I use a sponge. Um, <clears throat> only in the past year though have I actually bought, started buying actual blending sponges. What I used to use was just a makeup wedge. Just a good old fashioned makeup wedge and I still have some um, that I do use from time to time. Like, yeah, just, just sometimes when I feel like it. Um, but yeah, I typically would use a blending sponge. This one is the Real Techniques one. I just purchased this one. So that was my application. Um, then I've got my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Incidentally, I bought the, um, these Real Techniques sponges. A two-pack were on clearance for $4.50. I want to say it was under five dollars it was just under five dollars so there's that um <clears throat> we're not going to count the brushes as um part of our five items though but my brushes are all under five dollars as well because i'm a bargain beauty uh wet n wild photo focus foundation uh this stuff is thebalm.com incidentally five dollars it retails for 4.99 um, I use the shade Porcelain. It is actually, I feel like when I'm putting it on, I feel like it's too light for me. After I get everything on and everything's blended, it looks like it's maybe okay. But when I'm putting it on, I do feel like it might be a little bit light for me. Like it might wash me out just a little bit. But $5 Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild. Um, next, I used, to set it, I used this, the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. This is not my favorite powder that I've ever used. It is starting to grow on me a little bit, but I still, I mean, it's powder. I don't really, you know, it doesn't just blow me away, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I used this in the shade Buff Beige, which is the lightest Goodness gracious, this is like <sighs> getting annoying. Um, I use this in the color Buff Beige. I've already hit pan on it. I've only, gosh, I don't think I've even had this. Well, no, I've had this for a month because um, this was in my April favorites. Um, and it's the end of May now. And I don't actually wear makeup every day, so we can actually probably say that I've had this for a month. Um, and I've already hit pan on it, which is fine. I mean, like I said, it's not a big deal. I can't remember exactly how much this retailed for, but it was around the $5 mark. It was not over $5, so we have that one. Next, I used some blush. I used my Ulta Cheek Color in the shade Afterglow. They do not, as far as I know, I have not found it. Um, I've looked on their website for it, and I've actually looked in the stores for it. They actually do not make this anymore. I actually did pick this up on clearance. And I want to say it wasn't even a dollar. Like, I want to say it was like 98 cents or something like that. It's in one of my past Ulta hauls. So maybe I will link that video as well. I don't know. I know I have to link, um... I know I have to link Pals Lives Life's video in this one and I might link that Ulta haul as well so that we know how much this was. Um, or maybe I'll just link a playlist. I don't know. Anyway, this was under $5 as well. It was on clearance. They do not make it anymore. I do believe that it is discontinued. Um, but I have that one as well. Did I tell you what was in the shade Afterglow? I think I did. Okay, next is on the eyes. I have my Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Bella Pink. It is a shimmer shadow. Um, you guys, I'm not even kidding. When I purchased this, I, um, I said this too. When I was in high school, there was, um, I can't believe it, remember if it was Maybelline or CoverGirl. I want to say it was CoverGirl. But they made, um, the eyeshadow that I used was like almost this exact color. It was called Pink Chiffon. And I want to say it was CoverGirl. 
and I'm actually almost positive that it was CoverGirl. But that's what I used, and I used it just all over my eyelid. I used one color. I didn't know how to, because back in the day when you were in high school, you didn't look like a freaking model when you put your makeup on because you had to struggle to learn how to do it. And now they have YouTube. So everybody that is out on the street that is under the age of 30 looks freaking amazing. You need to be awkward. You need to be awkward. Um, anyway, there's that rant. Um, yeah, so I used this, not this eyeshadow, but this shade range of eyeshadow in high school. I also used my Maybelline Great Lash. Um, this I actually picked up at the, the eyeshadow, I actually picked it up at the Dollar Tree for, you guessed it, one dollar. Uh, Maybelline Great Lash. Waterproof in the shade Very Black. Um, used this in high school too, like who didn't? This is like probably one of my holy grail cult classic favorites of any makeup that I've ever used. I love this mascara. It's like just, it's the quintessential mascara, you guys. Um, also, under five bucks. So there is that. Now, if we want to get into brushes, Wet n Wild powder brush, picked it up at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. Elf angled contour brush, I think. Contour brush or blush brush, I can't remember, but it's an angled brush. Um, I want to say two bucks, but it's Elf, so I know it's under five dollars. So, five products, five dollars, five minutes. I think I have sufficiently kicked this challenge's butt, don't you? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, hit the bell next to it. That's going to give you notifications on when I post new videos. And I do at least one a week. I know I absolutely do post one video every week on Friday, like clockwork. I'm seeing a pattern where I'm starting to upload more than one, but you guys can bet that there will always be one up on Friday. Um, also, if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me there as well, BiloxiBeauty82, exactly the same way that it is spelled here. You'll catch little tidbits that you don't see on YouTube, like little snippets, maybe what scent I'm wearing today, or how I'm doing my hair today, or little things like that that maybe I won't come on YouTube all the time and show you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Goodbye!